If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? CLICKWID here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team Pack opening video. Guys, today we've got four Ultimate Legends in packs, four of them that we can potentially pull. All of them, of course, Boss Legends, Beast players, man. I mean, they're just getting more and more ridiculous at this point. You look at Amon Green, you've got Curtis Martin, Isaac Bruce, and Joe Horn. Not the most exciting group, but the actual attributes of these guys is crazy. The other thing, guys, is that apparently this is the final week of Ultimate Legends. I don't understand what the hell EA is doing with that. I mean, like, we've still got like a month left before Madden 17 comes out, so I do not understand why they're not just continuing to put out Ultimate Legends until the very end. I mean, there's still a bunch of players that had Legend cards that don't have Ultimate Legends at this point, like Barry fucking Sanders, for example? Like, where the hell's my Ultimate Legend Barry? That's my thing, man! I'm supposed to pull Ultimate Legend Barry every year! How the hell am I gonna do it if you don't put it in the game, EA? No, I'm just joking, guys, but, but seriously, I have pulled it in both the years that I have played that boss Legend Barry, and unfortunately, it's not in this game. So I will not have the opportunity to do that, unfortunately, this year, unless something changes, and I, I don't see it changing. But for the time being, guys, we are going to go in here. We're going to rip a ton of packs today. I mean, you're probably going to see some cuts in the video, so you might see me skip over, like, 100K worth of opening packs just because... I pull crap in almost every single pack. You guys probably know that by now, but uh, I'm doing my best, man. I'm going to do my best to pull something great today for you guys and for myself for freaking once this year. It would be amazing to pull even one 99 card. We're going to try and do it with the Ultimate Legend packs, guys. We can do three of them with coins. I still have 1.22 million coins. I'm thinking that with what I've got on my team and with whatever I pull today, and, uh, you know, I still have, like, a whole bunch of uh, large quick sells. I've got, like, 30-something. I, I think I have 37 of them. I know it says 39 there, but I think I've got, like, a couple other random packs sitting there. Um, so I can still possibly uh, do some nice giveaways for you guys, too. So maybe we'll do that on stream at some point. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. I will probably get to doing that pretty quickly if we're going to do it. But uh, with that being said, guys, let's go in here and let's start ripping some packs. Like I said, we've got the 100,000 coin Ultimate Legend packs that we can do. Uh, why don't we start it off with one of those? Let's start it off great, man. Let's let's just not mess around. Let's get right into it. Let's do a 100,000 coin pack. I know it sounds insane to do at this point, but you know what? You got to try and be great and pull these Ultimate Legends. As we do get a rookie player, uh, so that's not too bad, an NFL draft player. And we... Oh, man. That elite... With the legend symbol always trolls me every single time the guaranteed ultimate legend badge that's worth like 2,000 coins at this point but uh, yeah so nothing in that first ultimate legend pack but we'll continue on man and try and get some of these uh, ultimate legends in just standard pro packs for a little while here and then we'll go back to those ultimate legend packs eventually and maybe we'll pull something great here as we get a base elite Lawrence Timmons that's not bad very first pack, we get a base elite. Now, granted, base elites at this point in the game are literally worthless. I mean, like, they are they might as well just be a freaking card to, to quick sell. But um, even still, it's, it's good to pull an elite because you guys know the pack odds in this game are so crazy, crazy low. So, I, I mean, I'm still happy to pull base elites at this point, to be completely honest with you. It's a good sign. This is going to be a hell of a lot of packs in this video, guys. So, like I said, they're probably going to skip over quite a few of them, but at least this will get me closer to doing some more large quick sells, and then maybe we'll do another large quick sell video of some sort. I don't know. I, I think, I, I mean, obviously, I'm going to open up all those large quick sells at some point, and that'll be in a video, or streamed live, or maybe both. You guys should let me know in the comments section below, what would you rather see? Um, me just stream it, just upload it to YouTube, or do both? I mean, I'm sure most people are going to say both, but... Um, I mean, I've been thinking about doing a couple streams. As we get an Eli Apple collectible there, okay. I've been thinking about doing a couple streams before the end of this year. I know it's like, at this point, who's watching Madden streams? But, um, you know, just having fun with you guys and streaming, doing some random giveaways, things like that. So, again, let me know in the comments section below if you guys are interested in watching something like that over on my Twitch channel. I do have a link to that in the comments, or in the uh, video description, excuse me, below. So be over there and check that one out. I haven't streamed much this year, mostly because, oh, as we get a 96 Alan Bailey, okay, I will take that. I know it's not the best pull at this point, but a 96 is still pretty damn good. I will definitely accept that one. Um, but yeah, again, I haven't really been streaming a whole lot of Madden this year. 
And I think, you know, it's for various different reasons. First of all, like the packs, you guys see the packs for the most part. Other than that 96 Alan Bailey, that'll probably be the best thing that I pulled today. Let's be completely honest here. I mean, that's just the way that the packs for some reason are, especially for me this year. I don't get it. I, I feel like I've uh, just not had uh, luck at all. Like, it, I can't think of anybody that has opened as many packs as I have that has worse luck this year. It's insane. Like, ugh. I haven't pulled a single 99 player all year. Now, granted, I understand not everybody has, but I have pulled a crap load of packs, man. Like, a crap load of packs. Like, a ridiculous amount. Byron Jones, 94 overall. We're all right with that. We actually, I actually do use that on my uh, team as, like, my backup, I think, strong safety. Just because on certain situations, I want to have him get subbed in. All right, come on. Come on, EA. One time, don't screw me over. Dwayne Bow. Like, could you have given me a bigger pile of trash? Could you have given me a bigger pile of trash, EA? Seriously. We're going to go under a million coins for the first time in quite a while, but that's all right. But again, it just goes to show you how crazy rare it is to pull good stuff as we get a Josh Lambeau there. That is an elite, at least, um, but it's not a good card, obviously. I mean, it's just an all-rookie kicker, so really no value at this point, to be completely honest with you, an 87 overall. Still hard to really understand why those are in packs, although, I mean, at least it's better than, like, pulling a freaking base gold card, which is what I usually pull in every pack, like the damn Gerald Hodges there. Come on. One time, oh, Laquan Treadwell collectible. Oh, hey, we got a random road sign. I didn't even know those were still in packs. I think I've pulled two of them all year. I had no idea that those were still in packs. At one point, those things were going for like 50 to 100K, I feel like, but they're probably like 2K now at this point. So, but that's kind of weird. We got one elite, two elites. Now, granted, this is a collectible, and then still a goal player, so that's pretty crazy. That's probably one of the better, like, standard pro packs that I've seen, other than, obviously, pulling something amazing out of it, but just as far as, like, base little stuff adding up, not too bad. Come on. Ah, Malcolm Floyd, you trash can. <sighs> we can do this, man. We can do it. No, we can't. At all. Brett Hundley, you're trolling me. I gotta hear from you guys, man. Look at this pack luck that I've been having. Do you guys think I've got a boot on my account? Like, I, I honestly feel like that's a realistic possibility at this point. I, I really cannot believe how shit my pack luck is. Do you guys, do you guys have as bad a pack luck as me or am I just crazy? Because I feel like I just open a ton of packs and pull nothing all the time. I do not get it. You guys gotta let me know in the comments section below, man. What is going on with these packs? Are you guys pulling as much crap as I am, or do you guys just get lucky? I know everybody always says, oh, I pulled so-and-so boss ultimate legend, I pulled a golden ticket, and most people are lying, but, like, seriously, let me know in the comment section below. Am I going nuts, or, or am I, is my freaking account just completely destroyed? I mean, and if it is, it's probably because I advertise a coin website, and if that's the case, I mean, I guess EA is proving that they're going to try and take control of my account by just saying, you'll never pull shit ever again. Because here we are, man. Here we are in, what, the final day of July, and I still can't pull anything of value, man. Come on. We got that 96, but I still think that card's not even worth anything, really. So, look at this. Look at this. Frosty Rucker. Frosty Rucker. Like, uh, I can't. I can't believe it. We're going to do an Ultimate Legend pack after this one, guys. Let's do this. Ultimate Legend Pack number two. Let's make it happen. Come on. We got like 10 chances here or something crazy like that to pull the freaking boss Ultimate Legends. We do get a draft player there. Those have at least a little bit of value. We get the Ultimate Legend badge, of course, because God forbid we ever pull anything great. Come on. And we get a positional hero center. Ugh. Trash, man. Utter trash. We get nothing in this pack of any value. Maybe other than the Joshua Garnett. I don't know if that has any value. Probably not. But, oh my goodness. Trash, 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 trash. Let's continue on, though. I said I was going to open up a crap load of packs, so we're going to continue to do it, man. We're down to 780,000 coins. We're going to go down to, like, 500,000 today, man. We're pulling a shitload of packs trying to pull these things. And it's... My chances of it happening, I feel like, are just... So my minuscule. And you know what's funny is I would even be happy with pulling, like, the Teddy Bridgewater, 
the uh, Evan Mathis, like any of those cards, any 99. I, like, I know that they don't even go for that much at this point, but I would still be totally happy with it. I really, really would. I would be satisfied with that. And it still just is not happening. Come on. All right, come on. We got like we can do like 160,000 more or something like that before we get to 600k. So we get another freaking Dwayne Bow, and then we're gonna pull that final Ultimate Legend pack. Leave ourselves with roughly about 500,000 coins or so. Come on, EA. No more EAs. Ugh. Garbage. Steve Smith Jr. Of course. Also, guys, let me know in the comments section below. I know you guys have had a chance to look at these players now. Which one of these boss legends do you guys want? If you could pick any of them, which one of them would you would would you want on your team? Amon Green, Curtis Martin, Joe Horn, Isaac Bruce. Let me know in the comments section below as we get our third positional set collectible. Those things go for like 200 freaking coins at this point. And of course, they take up a spot in my pack. I would rather I would literally rather have the freaking playbook at this point. Like seriously, I really would. I don't know why the hell they keep giving us these crap things that are completely worthless at this point. And we get a Blue Otis McKelvin. And we get a Campus Hero Patch. Like, where the fuck are these even go? Like, I have no words for this. We get a 98 though! Chris Long! Alright, I am happy with that. Like, it's not an amazing pull by any means. I understand that. But look. It's like my third 98 pull of the year. I am actually okay with that. I am actually okay with that. We get two elites in the back. As I complain about the damn campus hero, which has no freaking value, we get the Chris Long, which at least has some value to play on the team, potentially. We'll have to take a look at him and see uh, what he compares as far as left ends. I don't even know. I think I'm starting like linebackers at left end. So yeah, I don't even know if we can compare him. But... Jake Long, I mean, this is definitely a nice card. 86 speed, 98 acceleration, that's money, 95 block shed, 95 strength, and 95 power move. So, yeah, I mean, really nice card. We'll have to use that as a giveaway, I think, at some point. So you guys need to uh, follow the channel if you guys are new. Make sure that you do that because, again, we're going to be giving away all of this stuff like I do every year. My team doesn't just go and, like, sit in the on the shelf. I give every single thing away at, at the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. And, of course, follow me on twitch.tv forward slash TV. Again, we're going to be giving away all of my stuff eventually. So I'm definitely happy to pull that 98 overall. Pretty damn good pull, I have to say. I mean, again, not the best thing. It's not the it's not a toke pull. It's not an answer to boss pull because those guys seem to pull freaking Ultimate Legends every weekend practically. But you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay with pulling a 98 for once. Ugh. You know what's funny is the only other 98 card that I pulled is Joe Hayden. And I pulled it twice. Like, how random is that? But we're still looking for those freaking Ultimate Legends, man. And we're getting down here to the bare nitty gritty at this point. Got to make it happen in these final packs. Can we clutch it out for once? Kyrie Robinson, you are not an Ultimate Legend. Not even close. Let's keep going, man. Come on, Carson Palmer, you trolling bastard. You need to be an ultimate legend. We'll go under 600,000. How's that? So we'll be slightly under 500,000 to end the video. Come on. Oh, Phil Lodehold. I think he actually retired this past week, oddly enough. So that could be the final Madden card that he actually has. Well, I think he had like an elite at some point, but still. My point, my point remains. And we get an all-rookie team collectible. Okay. I, like, these things are so random to still have in packs. Like, it's so weird, but whatever. This is the final one, guys. No, we'll do one more. We'll do one more pro pack. I said I was going to go under 600k, so we will. All right. Final pro pack, boys. Let's make this happen. Then we got the Ultimate Legend pack as well. So we basically got two more packs, guys. A lot of coins spent today. Not even coming remotely close to making it back, but it only takes that one pull. Charlie Johnson, you are the worst. You are the worst. I blame you. I blame you for this. I blame you. Look at you. Are you happy with yourself at this point, Charlie Johnson? All right, boys. Final pack of the video. Ultimate Legends pack. 100,000 coins. This is going to put us under 500,000 coins. I think for like the first time since maybe like November that I've been under 500k. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. I've just been hoarding coins for whatever reason. But let's make this happen, dude. Come on. We're going to go from the back this time. Let's go. All right. Bears away jersey. Starting it off weak. Rod Streeter. Come on. We only need that one freaking pull, man. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, come on! You're really gonna troll me with a final edition elite in the final pack? Oh, EA. And we get a Jets Curtis Martin team collectible, okay? Stevie Johnson. Oh no, Cameron Hayward. Oh, these two were back-to-back -back trolls. You've got to be kidding me. Why? Oh, man. Come on. All right, guys. That is going to do it for this pack opening video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Sorry we didn't pull any 99s again. I'm pretty sure, again, that's probably going to be my final chance to do it. So I guess it's an entire year without pulling a boss legend. Insane, man. Considering how many of them there were, I don't know. You guys got to let me know in the comment section below. How many packs, if you didn't pull any Ultimate Legends, how many packs have you pulled this year? You can go to your Mutt Rewards and actually count it, and you can see exactly how many packs that you've opened. So I'm interested to know from you guys. I've pulled like 5,000 packs, and I have not pulled an Ultimate Legend. So... Yeah, there's that. Well, anyways, guys, again, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I will talk to you guys again soon.